Welcome to the Kafri Day Show. Question, what's it like to be the first in your field? My guest broke ground 48 years ago by becoming Ghana's first world champion in boxing. And before the conversation, I just want you to hit the notification bell and follow this channel if you haven't already, so that when new content comes, you'll be the first to know. On the 20th of September, 1975, Ghana gained a first world champion in the area of boxing. Our champion was David Kote, a.k.a. DK Poison. And he's my guest in this uh, episode of the Cafe Day Show. DK, happy to see you. Thank you. Where does your name Poison, your nickname Poison, come from? You know, you know, you know, you follow me carefully. Any time they ask me questions, mm -hmm. I, re I respond or I reply that this was due to, you know, okay, shortly, so, so what we believe in reincarnation. Reincarnation. When you say we, who's we? Our, you know, our family mm -hmm. or our clan mm -hmm. believe in reincarnation. So when I, the day I was born, there's a lamp, some lamp here, lamp, lamp. Okay. It was there. When I, was born. when I was growing up, it was getting missing. So when I, when I was born, it was there. So people who knew my grandfather years back, they said, he's the one who has come back to Earth. Okay. That's why they, they, they name Poison, his, his name was Poison. He's a, he was a, how do you call it, a street fighter. And he was a street fighter, he was known as a Poison. So when I was born, when they saw this, thing, they say, oh, I'm the one. Poison has come back. Back to life, yeah. That's so, how. So the, that's why the poison came in. So boxing is in your blood, it's in your family. That's what I would say, because that's what I was led to understand, mm -hmm. that my grandfather, great-grandfather, you know, they go to, uh, they call it Asafa Tre. They go to Sisa, you know, the, the, the beach. Sometimes they will gather themselves to the beach to go and find, you know, the champion. Who live, who live the, the group. They work in group, group, see. Yeah. So he was there. He was one champion of the, the group by that time. Did your father also box? No, 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 he didn't box. Interestingly, when I, when I wanted to box, he right out there, he said, uh, you know, like they didn't want to box. They didn't want to be because they, they said, you know, you have to be educated, you know. Uh, they call me, Something in the, in the our language, Ghana language, uh, clerk, mm -hmm. uh, no, yes. clerk. educated person. Okay, educated person, you computers, you can you computers, you have to, you no, know, how do you call it? Uh, you, have, you want to become not 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 uh, not how would I put it? Not um, like a, I don't know, I don't know what, like a ruffian, mm -hmm. you no. Know. Mm -hmm. You see, they want to be a this thing, rag, uh, vagabond. So they, want, they didn't want to be boxed. I said, okay. So That's your father didn't box? He didn't box. He, he, was, he, he wasn't was, happy he, with no, you boxing? Yes. He, he never gave you his blessing to be a boxer? No, 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 no. I mean, I was, you know, I was stuck from the family house. And I went and lived with, some, with a friend at a crowd with them. But, I, but then I was living in Nima. And I went and stayed with a friend at Lagos town. So when people are doing the family reconciled us, then I went back to the house. So we're going to train at this, I train at the Kotobabi. Okay. But interestingly, when I won the World Tate, interestingly, those who were against, those who said I should stop boxing, they were people who <laughs> reached the uh, castle before I, I, I read it. They got to the airport before, before, before. No, they didn't. Else. Let's say, yeah, they, they were at the airport. Mm -hmm. And I don't. I don't know how they managed to be at the castle first because the, oh many people were at the castle. Yes. Yeah, so they were, the, they were they were they were there sipping uh, champagne before before reached, you got in. Uh, the people who were against you. Uh, yeah, that's exactly. That's, it's interesting. It, 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 how did you feel when you when you saw them there? I didn't feel anything. I said, ah, well, I was wondering how how can where did they come from? I, I was wondering, you know, because you people say you didn't press me, rather you said. Uh, I was a vagabond, so so and so and so, and now. So I was surprised to see them there. Did it hurt you when people 
called you a, a names because no, 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 never hurt you. At all, at all. What's your earliest memory of boxing? How, how young were you when you started? Okay, boxing? okay. What happened was, um, I computed start at seven, like I said. Those days, we, just, I don't know, the president, this is how we were classified. So it would be like um, SS or when I computed it. You know. mm -hmm. um, I'm having about, let's say, seven siblings. I'm the third male. So when, you, when I confess I'm seven, my daddy asked me, what will I, what will I like to do? Whether I would like to continue, it's okay. But then I was, you no, know, Amy, or I was thinking to be an electrician, just wire man or something like that, mm -hmm. not, not electric engineer. Mm -hmm. And my daddy asked me, so where are you going to, you know, learn this? I said, I told him about a school at a to-do. Um, he asked me, I mean, the duration, duration which... Mm -hmm. was, How long will it take for the course? Yeah, six, three that? years, because that, that, that time, it was three years course. Mm -hmm. So when we attended the school, the proprietor of that school, his name is... I forgot, but then he has another brother who is, who is managing Kofodra's Kofodra Secondary School. So, so. Mm -hmm. so that, mean, that man died. And he has to take over that school also. So he, he combined both the school. So he turned the duration up to uh, this thing from three years to five years, uh, second, technical secondary. So <laughs> I told my daddy that that's, when it, it was, I was, remember with only one year to complete uh, the three years course. So when they turned into uh, five years course, I went and told my daddy that I was, this is how the situation has become. He said, no, no, no. See, unfortunately, unfortunately, my, uh, my parents are, you know, illiterate. Mm -hmm. so, so he said, oh, and you told me it was going to be, it was three years, and I've made provision for that. So why now, five? And, and most, I, under, I understood him by that, I understood him, because, you know, by that uh, condition was not conducive, you know, like, I was another siblings, you know. So I said, okay. So, the course of that, uh, when, anytime we go to school, you know, some of us who I will call them well, class, well, as a well to do you know, children, they, they will buy newspapers, you know, like uh, really graphic dancers. If they buy the paper, the, the first chapter, the first page we, we, we read is sports page. The back. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the page or the f f last the part one part. Mm -hmm. So it was a, a certain a certain day when they bought it and when they opened this thing, they saw a certain boxer. When they saw it, they said, oh, they, said they, they called me to come and with me, to come and see something. They said, oh, is that not you? But it was not me. Oh. Mm -hmm. They said, I resemble the boy. Mm -hmm. And the boxer name was Lovalote, small boy. So oh, resemble you, you said, eh, you think so? I said, okay, this boy, this small boy, this small boy is going to defend church. Why not? <laughs> I'm not going to boxing. Exactly. How old were you by then? Can you remember? Mm, anyway, I didn't enter into boxing as early as possible. I think it was about my 18, 20 years. Okay. Mm. Oh, that was quite late. Yeah, this time. is what I'm saying. Yeah. Late. Wow. Yes. 20 years, 18, 20. About, 20 mm, about for the mm, first time. About 18, 20. Mm. But had you fought any street fights or any before that time? Okay. Okay, let me, let me take you back. Mm -hmm. I was born at Arabaka. Official town. You don't do this, uh, go coast time, you know. Uh, by that time, they go to work on Saturdays. And every Saturday, when our parents go to work, we, the youth, we go to park. After we have washing our dirty uniform, squeezing for, we go to park and play. Play football, soccer. After playing the football, eh, then we have to fight for our, we have to fight. Eh? Mm -hmm. the, 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 those of who played, we have to fight. Then we have something, we have something we, we call winner's day. Okay. Eh? We are a whole lot of, you know, boys. You know. Okay. Like and how we, many? Say that again? How many boys? Maybe like 
those of you who pay them like maybe eleven, ten or something like that. Okay. Some but some people may live for their house and so also. And we shall fight. Because we want to know who will, who will be who will guide, who will lead us, who will be the strongest man while we okay. because we work in groups. Okay. So even that this uh, the senior is the strongest of all there, we know him. So we <laughs> and we we shall fight. No. We fight. Then so did you have small boys fighting big boys, or they had a way of? Let me tell you, anybody is a lie. If 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 you are God beaten, then you get out of here. So whether it's a small boy or this, thing, <laughs> go and fight. I, go and fight. I remember it was only one boy who always taught me, and he was older than me. Mm -hmm. His name was Apeto. He played Olympics. Oh, really? Yes. Football? Football. Mm. He was older than me. It, he was the only person who always beat me. But you always stopped other people? Yes. So, people were not surprised who knew who knew my history. They were not surprised when I became a champion. Mm. When I became a boxer and won the title, they were not surprised. Those of, those of, of who live at uh, Arabanka. Yes. And at that time, do you, did you have any heroes? Uh, or, or, or this was just wild. No, just fighting. no, they're just fighting again. We mm -hmm. don't have any, any plan. No, it no was plan. later time that mm -hmm. I took out, I took upon myself to be a this. Mm -hmm. It was later time. Mm -hmm. By that time, we are about we are primary school. Okay. You no, know, but, you, but you're not following any, any no, fights on radio. No, or no, no, no. I don't know. Nothing. Okay. If you are, I didn't know what you call uh, boxing. Mm -hmm. No, like it was just fights. Fighting, yeah, fight, fight, fight. fights. Fight. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Yeah. So that newspaper. Where your friends pointed out the, the champion. That was our said, technical school. Like that was our. So saying. that that actually gave you motivated me. Yeah, motivated me. That was gave me the. Okay. Uh, so, so what, what was your next step? What did you do? Okay. When there? I saw that, I went home. When I went home, mm -hmm. I erected pool. No pool, pool, pool. Mm -hmm. You know pool. Yes. Like, when, then I went and bought. Um, you know the soldiers. They have some kit back. Yes. I went and bought it and fill it with a sack and sadas. That's where I started it. Nobody taught me, like I said. Nobody there was taught. no coach showing you all of this stuff. Yeah, it was all by your own mind. Yes. Would you say you are a self-taught boxer? This is what I'm telling you. Mm. I said nobody taught me, and that's why I'm saying it's my it's my destiny to be a boxer, and I'll be a boxer, and I won the world title. It's my destiny. That's that's an incredible story. So for how long that's, were you doing this self-training? Okay, like I said, when I started, my parents said. I was a vagabond. You know, they say, uh, as Greg, you have competed this thing, you have found some job to do, you don't know. Mm -hmm. So it became the decision then. I left the house. I went and stayed with a friend. I went and stayed with a friend at, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Accra New Town. Mm -hmm. Then I remember, there, there was a, this, there was this guy, this, uh, this boy, he comes, he sells uh, newspapers. Then when he comes, my friend who I'm living with, mm -hmm. he used okay. to buy the papers. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what came, you know, I don't know what came across this thing or this thing. So I don't know what discussion we have. But then the guy said, oh, he surprised uh, people, surprised people and this, up to, uh, I don't call it, to Kotobabi, and mentioned Jotete. Ah, Jotete was uh, one of those days. He was a top boxer. He was one of the, Ghana uh, the boxing uh, champions. Mm. So I, think, uh, I told him that, but then, like I said, I've started and I moved to. I told him this to, if you go there, you should tell you that, that, that he has a friend who was you know, interested in boxing. So okay. I will come and you know, learn how to box. He said, yo. So the next time he came, he said, he talked to the other day, I will be welcome. Hey! Then uh, I went, the following day, I went to the gym at uh, Kotobabi. Mm -hmm. By that time, uh, we have some crack boxers uh, there, you know, clubs of boxing, uh, boxers there. We had uh, Joe Tete, who was featherweight champion by then. Mm -hmm. Then we have Teddy Mehu, he's a, a weatherweight champion by then. We have uh, Ted Ovi, he was a lightweight champion there. What? Well, I'm a colleague, I don't know about time here. Fortunately, or fortunately, when there, uh, there were no, um, there were no amateur boxers there, though. Mm -hmm. So like you, like you see me now, I've been boxed in the amateur business before. Straight to professional. Yes. So listen to interesting business. So when I went there, 
I mean, you tell yourself, okay, you say, okay. They ask me, where have you reached? Where have I reached with them my boxing? Yes. I told them that I'm just a novice, I'm just a beginner. So I, that's why I came here to, to learn. It's okay. So they took me to the the basic. They drew they drew a line, a line, you know, to stand on it. I stood for that one for one week. Then they saw my progress was, you know. Why did they draw that line? The that's the basic boxing, you okay, know. Boxing stance. Is that the boxing stance? Okay. You know, yes, yeah, like oh, this. Okay. The, the line, like draw this. a line, uh -huh. okay. See, mm -hmm. you see, okay. Uh -huh. So, I stood for that one week. Did they show you any, any, any? Yeah, they said like this, like this, like this. Mm -hmm. okay. So, one week later, <laughs> they said, Oh, okay, I'll pass that. This thing that was the first level, <laughs> then they, I mean, to, then they, 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 they asked me to do uh, the second level, which is you have to do a right. You move your leg. Okay. Go like that. You almost go around. Okay. Yeah. Like this. All right. That was another week. Is that, uh, is that a jab or something? Let me put it. Let me take. Let me say it's a jab. Mm -hmm. You know, just like this. Mm -hmm. Do like that. Okay. You throw. You throw your hand like this. Mm -hmm. Then later on, I pass that level to later on. Then the third week, they asked me to put into practice as if I'm boxing somebody. That is to shadow boxing. Okay. When I started there, they said, ah, didn't you say you haven't learned anything? I said, yes. They said, what you are doing? Show you that. As yeah. if you've been taught. Yes, yes. I said, no. So that happened. So, so you, were, you, said you were a natural, really. I told you that. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that I'm, a, mm -hmm. I, I'm destined to be a, this a boxer. Yeah. You see? So they were, they, were, they, were, they were amazed. Yeah, and they were amazed. And, you know, they were amazed, honestly. So even by then, I wasn't fully... Feather weight. I was Bantam weight. But Bantam, there was a, somebody that there was a Bantam weight champion there, or who there was, there was a Bantam weight contender mm -hmm. who was going to fight for his championship. Their mm -hmm. name was Makola Doraba. Mm -hmm. And, and Bantam weight is lighter than Feather weight. Yes. Yes. And I have to, I have to move. You no, know, I have to move from Bantam weight to Feather weight because if I'm there, if I'm the backup, I will get the chance to. You know, and we can't be fighting. Each other in the, the same gym, mm -hmm. so I have to move to federal. But that, by that time, Jota uh, has left the country for for at uh, at uh, you know, abroad. So you have to step up in weight. Yes. How, how did you how did you increase your weight? I didn't increase my weight. My mm -hmm. weight was as that time. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't care about weight. Mm -hmm. And my first fight, my first fight was against somebody who was a little bit heavier than me. But I beat him on points. Mm -hmm. That's why the first I started my, my first fight was I think I fought somebody by the name Famous Lighty. Mm -hmm. Famous Lighty. Mm -hmm. And mm, I want to point out was the first fight. I think it was 66 or so. Mm -hmm. And I continue winning, 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 winning. <laughs> what was it what did you feel like to win your first pro fight? I didn't feel actually ordinary. I'm not I'm somebody who who is not excited with some of this, you know. Mm. I just is it? It's, I, I, it's, I your, it's your job. Yes, I won it. Mm. What, what was the? I mean, if you when you won that first fight, can you remember how much they paid you? Beautiful, I love that. <laughs> but then you know, they pay me three cities, three cities. You know, three, not present day three cities. Mm -hmm. You know, when you when we had the independence, formerly we were using pounds, uh, pounds and shillings. Shillings. Yeah. That is British. Mm -hmm. So when we had the independence, fifty seven. We change our currency to CDs and you know pesos, and the CD equivalent to one pound by then. So I was given three CDs, three CDs. What could that three CDs buy at that time? Ah, so I said, I don't know. When they give me three, in that three CDs, my managers gave me only one CD out of the three. Yes, and but honestly, that time I was not focused. I was not thinking about money. Mm. You know, just people see me as like, a boxer. That's all. Mm. You know, I remember. When this, uh, I think, was it when, 1974? When, when was the, when, when was the Allianz or that came? Can you remember? This is the Buzia time. So, yeah, I know. Uh, this would be 70, Two. Buzia was knocked out in 72. So Two, maybe 71, yeah. in the early 70s. Exactly. Early 70s. Yeah. Yeah. When, by then, when the, this Allianz Compress came, I was training with, a, a, how do you call it, J.K. Mensah Boxing Club. He was the manager and 
and you call trainer at the Kotobadi. So when this uh, uh, order came, order, when this order came, he left the country. Though nobody asked me to go, but he felt to leave. You know. So when he left, there was nobody to coach to train. So I have to leave Nima, cross, uh, cross uh, how do you call it, Lagos Town. You know where formerly West Africa School is? Yes. I would go and stand there. But that day, it was not easy like that to get uh, transport free. To go to Mamprobi, where, uh, how, do, how do you call this, uh, Boston Association Club was. How to up and down. You see, it was, it was a hustle. Yeah, uh, and were you, were you living entirely on boxing or you were working elsewhere and then boxing at the same time? Um, I was partially working with uh, the manager I mentioned. Name was J.K. Mensah's mm -hmm. brother. He was an electrician. Okay. So I was just now as an apprentice you know, today. Tell us what you felt when, uh, for the first time, you opened the back page of the sports papers and then you saw your name there. Which which paper? I, I mean, when was the first time the news 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 journalist wrote about you for one of your fights? Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. I said, eh. so, no. uh, they didn't. Okay, the first time I saw myself in the papers. I cut the paper. Yeah. You cut it out. First, I put it down. You know. <laughs> that's, how, that's how I acted. Who did you show it to? No, no. I didn't, you know, people come to me. I showed it to the, my mm -hmm. friends. And, you know, mm -hmm. See, my friends come to me. You see, especially when they know that I'm a boxer. When did you know that you were in the running to fight for the world title? What, give us a sense of what who you had to fight before you got there. Okay, I'll take you back. I'll take you back everything. After I had about, let's see, I became a national champion. And there were, or oh, there was no fighting coming on there. I couldn't, lack of, nobody was to fight me. Why? They were scared? No, oh, yeah, I don't know. Nobody <laughs> wants to force me. Nobody and, wants to get beaten. Yeah, so <laughs> what happened was, I had a... Okay, what happened was, during that time, I, I said, like I said before, for Kruppert, for Kruppert Robertson, he fought for World Title, World Title here in 1966. Mm -hmm. It was, it's the fourth, sorry, you couldn't... Didn't win. You couldn't capture, you couldn't yeah. catch one So, after he lost this thing, the manager, who managed him was a Scottish guy. The name was uh, Sammy Doherty. Mm, and after, after Kuta retired from Boston, he left for Australia. So he was there. And he wrote to uh, Rankra, but then Rankra was the national champion. Yes. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, national coach trainer. For boxers. Uh, for, uh, so he wrote to him that he would be very glad if he, you know, he could get or he can get another good boxer because he knows Ghanaian sovereign. So it was uh, Rankra who recommended me to him. He said, I should proceed. So I proceeded to Australia by then. What was the flight? These days it would take you maybe. Uh, uh, I mean, how did you get to Australia? What was the flight movement like from here to where to where? Okay. I can't tell. It has been quite a time. Mm. So I think it's a quite a long time. So I can't remember vividly. But I don't know. We stopped part. I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember the name. Mm -hmm. One stop before we reached. But it was a long flight. Yes. Yeah. We got by the end. They called that down on that. Down, down, down on that. Down on that. We spent that was more than necessary. Did you know? mm -hmm. so And then you got to Australia. We got to Australia. What was it like? It was a cool place. And you see, you know, the, the guns don't travel. The guns. They That's what we hear. Yes. <laughs> why? Why don't guns travel? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So when I went I there, I said, "Okay." I started my training. By that time, uh, it was it was winter time, and they discovered that 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 time that period of time that that kind of uh, winter happened about thirty something, something years back. Very cold. You know? So I remember one funny thing. Every every morning I wake up and go to road work. I remember one time when I was coming, I was freezing. I couldn't come. So I sat on the 
thoughts of the drugs. And by that, we have a friend uh, uh, who is a, bro, bo, a, a bus driver. So when he was driving along, he saw me and said, oh, why this? So he took me he to- took you inside. Yeah, to go and drop me. And I said, if my mom is here, he will say, he will, she will say, if this is what you are going to do before you eat, forget it. <laughs> Because it was, it was freezing. Really, really cold. Cold. Very, very cold. At that time. And I have, like I said, I haven't tried it before. Mm -hmm. And, you know, here always we have the warm water, a warm weather. And, yeah. And so, imagine that uh, winter time, 34 years back, doing that thing happen. See? And how long did you stay in Australia for? Mm, we stayed, uh, I think, about a little over two years. What happened was, I had about Six five there, mm -hmm. and I lost one. The, the one I lost, we call it home, home decision. Mm -hmm. So that uh, there, after uh, after that uh, this thing, the loss, I couldn't get uh, opponent to fight. Nobody was fighting. I remember there was a Commonwealth champion, uh, New I think New Zealand, eh? New Zealand, and I asked my manager to arrange. For me to fight for the commerce. Because by then I thought uh, boxing, yeah. By that I was a I was a green, I was a green. Mm -hmm. you know? I was green, I was green. Mm -hmm. I didn't know much about yeah. So I thought boxing is like a school where you graduate from class to class. You see, because when we hear when we here in Ghana, say you have to win the World Tate, mm -hmm. hey, we have to win the uh, National Tate, mm -hmm. then maybe Africa, mm -hmm. then maybe the so the Olympic, when I, yeah, yeah, yeah. by then I was there. So we, so if I say, could you get it? I asked my manager to arrange for me to fight for the Commonwealth. So when he contacted the other guy manager, they, they refused. They said they won't fight me. And I told them that let's fight free. I, won't, I don't want money. Mm -hmm. They refused. They refused. And they said, okay, my manager said, okay, if you can't get fired, let's go to America. And I said, let's press, let's press, let's put pressure on them. They said, ah. they said they won't fight. What do we do? So we have to take a pack of our baggage and Live for US. So you went to USA? When we went, when we went to US, it's, it's, it's interesting, wonderful. I see, I see somebody told me that I was so and so and so. They heard about you? They heard about me. The first thing we went, come on, see, they said about me. I was made to spy with some lightweight boxer. Mm -hmm. After, you know, after the, the training, because you, you can see it on Twitter, whispering. I didn't know what we, they were whispering. The light work is heavier than you, was heavier than you, right? Yeah, the light work is heavier than you. That's just one. I don't, I don't know if it's because of that, Spade, all the this guy refused to fight me. What was your deadly weapon? I mean, every boxer has uh, something they that. Say, they knew. say, they uh -huh. say, but I don't know. Uh -huh. for me, I know but they uh -huh. say my left. They say, they have been saying my They, they say, say your left. Say, they say my left. What but did I, you say? I don't know. <laughs> I know oh, both weapons are powerful. <laughs> The DC left. A hook or a jab, uppercut, what was oh, it? Oh, 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 let uppercut. Me tell you, uppercut. Nobody have ever met it. Nobody have got that kind of uppercut. No, all the, the uh, all the Ghana boys say that have you know, ran to. Mm -hmm. Even. Who would I say the. Uh, how would I say the bigger puncher? Maybe they say. Uh, they say. Oh, uh, Jotete was there. A big they call him. They call him Black Hammer. They say, mm -hmm. they have, so. but I believe my punches were stronger than those ones. Mm -hmm. How do you deliver a good uppercut? Come, let me teach you. Let me teach yeah. you. No, come close. Come, let me teach yeah. you. <laughs> let me teach you. Yes. <laughs> no, so, just so you, you, like this. Uh -huh. It goes like this. Uh -huh. It goes like this. This is the uppercut. Okay. This is straight jab. Mm -hmm. hey, this is straight punch. Mm -hmm. This is jab. Mm -hmm. This is. Hook, mm. and then your uppercut is the one which comes from under. Like this. Okay. okay. Good under. What's what up there? What's a good? What's the best good defense? If I want. It to depends. Defend. It depends how you feel mm -hmm. when you are. When you depend. You see Muhammad Ali's mm -hmm. always. Rope a dog. Like, uh, like this. Yeah. That's how he holds his guard. Mm -hmm. Somebody will hold like that. Mm -hmm. Somebody should be like this. Mm -hmm. Depends how you feel. What was your style? Like this. Okay. Like this. All right. Because. 
more opinion if I like you. cover all my chin. Mm -hmm. The chin is the easiest part of the human body. I went through the... What's it like to be knocked out? Ah, ah, you have a good question. I've never experienced a knockout before. But I remember 1974. Okay, let me go back here a little bit. When I, when I returned to Ghana, mm -hmm. uh, by that the, the boxing has died completely. So we went in. But like I said, okay, when we went to USA, mm -hmm. let me take a little bit. Like I said, we couldn't get fight. Mm -hmm. So my manager left me in uh, USA. He said he was going to London to contact one Jack Salomon. He made it possible for Kulte Robertson to fight the web title here in 1964. So I said, okay, so he left. He went to, uh, he left me in the USA. So when he finished with the negotiation, he said, uh, he said to me, we should meet at the, we should meet at London, that we should come back home and come and control, con come and consult the uh, government. If he could, like I, like they did in, like they did in uh, Kuma Time 64, if the government can you know, release money for. So we came, and he came. Um, what happened? Uh, we went to a meet, Kenden Kigbe. He was a uh, um, sports. Commissioner for sports? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we, came, we talked to him, you know, we convinced. We, I mean, we put pressure. Okay, we convinced him that honestly, we can do. I can do something. So, because some of those who have uh, those who have in the boxing for a time, I mentioned uh, Jestana. You know, he he was among those who stayed there and this is the forward title. So I mentioned. So okay, he called them. You know, he talked them. He told them that. Um, they should make sure that, you know, I wouldn't wear tattoo for the Ghana. So mm -hmm. they, they form a, they form a syndicate. They, they form a syndicate. They have a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, management committee within this, then the training committee within. So in short, they say, uh, Jezana said, Jezana said that, they have been hearing of me when I was in, Australia, but he had, never, he had never saw me before. So, what we do is uh, they will arrange fight for me. So, just this one, my cushion. Mm -hmm. So, they arrange the fight. They brought somebody, I knocked him there, I think the sixth round. Then, another one, too. Another. Then, the third one, they say, oh, I should fight for the Commonwealth. Oh, when we are waiting for where 30, mm -hmm. at that time, uh, my manager, Sam some Doggett, some left me for his country. So they say, okay, I should fight for another this thing, uh, commercial. So I, I agree. They brought some guy there who was, uh, he was not a, he was not a champion. He also was, you know, he was, was uh, this thing for, expecting to fight the, uh, the commerce. Mm -hmm. So they say, whoever will win, they will arrange me, whoever wins, you go and mm -hmm. fight for them. Where was that guy from? I think he said, the white guy? Yes, it's a white guy. Scottish guy? If not Scott, but then British. Evan Armstrong? You know, you know. <laughs> you know, you ask me. You mentioned about how do I feel about uh, knockout. Yes, that's yeah, what I'm. Yeah. Yeah. So, if I ask you, if you see, see it's one of you, you, you say, you say, it's, it's like a, it's like a, I don't know, what, how, what would, what way would I use to describe it? It was like a, like a ghost, mm. feel like a, you know. Mm -hmm. That's what I was asking myself, can this, can this boy travel with you? With, with me? Did he travel? Just let me tell you, when we were ring, by then, uh, my train now, when I took a court, you know, when I returned from there, uh, just, just Anna asked me, which of, who, is, who was my trainer? I told him, well, uh, Yao. He said, oh, he doesn't know Yao. So he will give me a coach. So he mentioned Kuta Robertson and I took a cloth. He said, nephew to Akustu. So I said, okay. So I chose a cloth. 
and during our training. When we are going, to, when we were going to fight for that, we said, "I should watch anytime I should watch my corner. Yeah. I watch where my corner. You, you know, you show me some sense. Some okay. This is something I have never done before. You know, like if you are fighting, how to look? You always concentrate <laughs> on the guy you are fighting. Yeah. Mm. So it will. I think what if you not turn round in the tenth round? I was oh, and I was going to. Look the corner. I don't know where the punch came from. Mm. Okay. On your chin. First time in history, first time in my career when I, I went down. Uh-huh. Then I'll come where I'll answer to where you say. <laughs> so no, uh, I was taught, you no, know, if you are if you are knocked down, how to wake up. I didn't wake up because the impact is still in you. Mm. I didn't wake up, so I have mm. to count up to six, seven, then I wake up. Uh, you are, so you are counting while you are down. Yeah, yes, ground. yes. Okay. Uh, so when I came down. But um, can you hear can you hear what is going around when you are down there? Yeah, you hear. You hear it things. depends it depends the impact. Mm. So when I wake up, don't know the the bell went off for uh the, the end of ten round. So only when that's how I felt. So when I wake up I say, hey. I said, this is how these people feel when <laughs> they are knocked down. Because you'll be knocking people out, this right? This is what I said. This, 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 this is how the people feel when I've been knocking down. This is how I said, hey, hey. So in the 11th round, when we went inside, wow, I changed my, ta- my style of boxing, my tactics. No. You gave him the same medicine? Then they, they, they threw in the tower. So oh. They fell <laughs> See. So I answered your question. You answered my question. The first time, he said, hey. This is how the people feel. How the people feel if I knock them down? Yeah, now you tasted the whole medicine. I taste that well. Yeah. There's a sad footnote to this because Evan Armstrong passed away some years back. Really? And he had Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's disease. You know, I mean, they said said, point drop. Point yes, drop, yes, like point drop. Yes. Yeah. Is that something that you 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 were you were worried about when you were boxing? That no, 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 no. no. I, would, I don't think about that one. Yes. Uh, interestingly, what I noticed or what I know. All boxers whom I fought, mm-hmm. they will leave, they will never live to box again. Not that they would die, they won't box again. Mm-hmm. What I took, what I took notice, what I knew. All boxers that I fought, with the exception of uh, Lopez. And Lopez knew what you, you knew what happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. Who was your toughest match? Ivan Armstrong. Ivan Armstrong. The man who knocked you down? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. He, yeah. Hey, you see me wobble, wobble like a... But very strong. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Walk us through the, the fight that made you our hero. 20th when, when September. I fought, when I fought What was the training? What training did you have before you, you regular fought? Training, training. Regular training. So what was your I, regular training I'm, those days? What would you do? Oh. <laughs> how do, how do, you, what we're, do we're not boxers, what, so we what, don't know. What do you want me to tell you? We don't know. What, what, what was your routine like? What did you do? Woke, woke up in the morning? Okay, well, I wake up mm-hmm. like... You, like <clears throat> I usually I will go to road work, mm-hmm. come. But interesting thing, I like resting, plenty of rest, plenty of rest, plenty of rest. If I'm not, no, I don't, I, I don't go out to town by hard, no, unnecessary, especially during uh, when I'm uh, preparing for uh, the, the wet I don't go out by hard. But there were a lot of temptations, I'm sure. I say, I don't go by her. What's mm. position? I don't go. Mm-hmm. I'm, my mind was, I have four four of course, on one thing. Mm. Yeah. So I remember when we went for a way in, that the DD, when I was going to fight for uh, Ruby Rice, he had information that me by eight o'clock, you know, I go to bed. You know. So he said, oh, before eight o'clock, before eight o'clock, now, you, he will knock me out. So that you can go and sleep. And he said, <laughs> by that, I will be dreaming that I'm in. You see, I'll be dreaming that I'm I, I, I will be in the business. Yeah. I will be dreaming. Mm. I say, Yo, okay, you knock me out. So, that's how it's happening. So, okay, like I said, like I'm saying, uh, road work, then I'll come to the gym, uh, skipping, skip. How long do you skip for? It depends. If I'm alone, maybe one hour. If I'm One hour, continuous skipping? Yes, if I'm a trainer, the trainer will tell, will tell me, how many minutes I should you know, do? So What's better. the point of skipping? Why do boxers skip? One to to give you endurance, to give you 
you know, to lose weight. The more you trade, you know, the sweat. Oh, okay. Yeah, the sweat. To lose weight. Then, yeah. What yeah. kind of food were you eating? Like I before said, a fight? I have not been eating this kind of, uh, this raw starch. Okay. Let me see. I eat steak mm -hmm. and some, you know, slice of bread. Okay. In the morning, maybe I have a tea egg. egg. Mm -hmm. In the afternoon, no, I take some or the snap. I don't, I don't, I don't like maybe uh, maybe tea or something like mm -hmm. that. No alcohol. Oh, oh yeah. No sex. Mm, I don't think I was sex because I don't feel like say I don't feel sex. Mm. You see, but sometimes by that time I have I mean have a wife. You know I don't want to I'm complaining complaining to me. But you know, who is complaining, you or her? No, her. You know. That what? I don't want to tell you. Are you a baby? I'm not. I'm just no? curious. Okay. If I don't touch her, you know, that is the reason. Mm. And you know, especially, you know, I, I, by then, I'm always prepare myself mm, that fight camp, I could be, you know, called to fight at any time. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Uh, any time, so I prepare myself for mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And more so, uh, if you are going to box and suddenly they postpone their fight, eh? if you take it, uh, you didn't continue training, mm -hmm. you you rest for some time. If you don't know, they say, no, they, if some people are going to fight, eh, maybe one Bossa couldn't make their way to one. They will ask you to jump in. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you have to be ready all the time. Prepared. Yeah. Always prepared. Yes. Okay. So on the day of the fight, um, you know, these days when I watch boxing, you hear, you hear, uh, you see the boxers coming down with some lots of music and fanfare. I mean, when you were walking into that ring that day, describe the scene. Who were you walking down the ring? Was there any music playing for you? Because this was in the USA. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You just went through. You had yeah, your flag? Yeah, we had the Ghana flag. You had the Ghana flag. Yes. Okay. Who was on your team in 75? I, I took a clotty mm -hmm. and myself and somebody who ne whose name was Gambina. Mm -hmm. What was his role? I never knew <laughs> until the time. Until, I never knew until the the night that I won the fight. Mm -hmm. Before the fight, we were asked, we were advised to employ that man. But by, by then my brother was working at the, the mission, the new, the mission that they In did. the USA, okay. And he was, fortunately for me, he was there. He, he represented the Ghana Boxing Control. So he made it possible for me to fight for the world title. So, and they advise you employ that guy. Listen, mm -hmm. before I could be rated, you see, he, cont he contacted somebody. They knew their name was doing Fragata. I don't know. I don't know if he was uh, Italian or something. This man lives in the in the in, the, in his house, mm -hmm. eh, in his room. I've never seen him walking. Out. He doesn't work. He doesn't go out. But he, if he tells you that, if two bosses are fighting, he tells you this one is going to you know. Mm. I remember, so he make it possible for my name to be put in the written due, uh, due uh, uh, how do you call it, due to uh, my uh, my brother this thing, intervention with this, mm -hmm. you know. So I don't know where my brother knew him from. I think he was a but diplomat was so no diplomat. So, so I remember he said. The, the, the man said, like, okay, I'll come to your question, uh, to uh, do for He said, he told my brother, that, but then when it was about three days to leave, I, I, when I go, I go to uh, New York, I train there, then I'll leave to uh, California. California yeah. So when I go to, uh, three days before the fight, he told my brother that the, there was some guy there, they know he forgot that. Hey, uh, uh, doing, doing, doing. Hey, the, uh, what, what I said, oh, 
I forgot their name. Mm -hmm. Say so you should employ him. I asked my dad, my brother, ah, employ for what? What is, was sure. he going to do for us? Mm -hmm. He said, this is what he said. Sure. So, well, we employ him for a fee of $5,000. So, he was at our corner. He was at our corner. The first, I think, well, first round, I don't the guy, I don't know him, I don't know the. Oliver, mm -hmm. down. First round. Mm -hmm. And then the rules was that if you if you if you go down once, that we, you have to you have to recover. And you have to win another three rounds before you can catch up. with you you understand what I'm mm -hmm. saying? With the points, right? Uh, no, yeah. If if you are knocked by a, a punch, mm -hmm. not not sleep, you are knocked by by punch. You have to win another three rounds mm -hmm. before you collapse. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I've known this guy, I think first round was that and then first round of fifth and something rounds. But they didn't accept you know, they, they rule the two they, they rule the two as a slip, you know. Oh, were they trying to cheat you? If not because of that Gambina had the name was Gambina. Mm -hmm. You know, because of Ghana Gambina, who was at their inside, they wouldn't have they wouldn't have given their fight for me. No, no, that after the fight, I knew that uh, the Gambina was a mafia. What, group. what was my Gambina doing? If they didn't get fired, they, they would. Ah, you don't know. Ah. You know what they do. Mm. You know what they do. Mm. Eh? So they were scared. They couldn't announce. They couldn't announce the decision in the ring. They were throwing some muscles. You know the Mexican guys. Yeah. The advice was a Mexican guy. because that guy was a big boxer in Mexico. He was the wow. man. I, I'm happy you. He know. was the biggest boxer in Mexico. I, I am glad you know about it. People yeah. don't know. People people regard him more than uh, Muhammad Ali. No, Olivares was the biggest boxer in the. Anyway, so when I so when I I was when I first 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 time when I was all the supporters were known annoying. You were throwing some kind of muscles. Uh, yeah, because you knocked out, you you beat their hero. So. I was, we were escorted to our dressing room. The decision was not announced until I, was, I went to the, they were escorted to, they <coughs> to the dressing room, escorted to the dressing room. We went to the dressing room and they, they announced the verdict that I won by 2-1 decision. Yeah. So, that's what it, that's what it came about. How did you feel knowing that wow. you, you, you were great, world champion? Great, 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 great. Yes, Ghana's yes. first ever world great, champion. Great, I great. I said great. I said, oh, God, I thank you. How did you celebrate that day? Oh, no, no, no. I mean, like I said, I'm, I was not too excited. I was not too excited. Just, just free man. You know. And then you returned to Ghana? Wow. Te terrific. When we went to Ghana. Mm -hmm. What happened was, Interesting thing what happened was when we were supposed to leave uh, New York with the, uh, with the America to, to come and catch up, to come and, you know, at London to come and make, uh, how do you call it, uh, join uh, London. Was it the days of Ghana Airways? I, th I think so. Mm -hmm. I think so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, fortunately, the, the plane that's supposed to bring us to uh, London mm -hmm. had a problem. So the, uh, the play delay about one hour, you know. So Ghana was also delay. So when we reached the uh, uh, airport, we were see people, you know, grumbling uh, because of one person. They have to delay this you know, because they were, according to source, they make it is it telex or text, that they make sure that I come with them. Yes. Of course. So, so but but the first reason, you know. When they, when they saw me in the car, they were happy. <laughs> they were they were with the champion. So before uh, we reach Accra, and before the we read the uh, this thing, the term mark, I had somebody ask whether the champion is was in the this is in the in the play, and they said yes. So when I got I got up for the play, come and see ah. I haven't seen that kind of this before. The cloud. What? So when they usher me to the, you know. That, let me think about on the plane. Did they know that you were on the plane? They 
when we reach why, why are you on the plane? Did the passengers know that some you of were them there? knew? Some, some of them, them knew. knew. Okay. Some of them knew. All right. Some of them knew. So when you reach, I think Accra, when you reach some few minutes to, to land, then they, they had a pilot, whether or not, whether the champ is was on the plane. Like, said, yes. When I came in, I was the first one to descend, to come out, to come out for, for on the, to come out on uh, the plane. Were you wearing the belt? But they, they, they brought the they brought the uh, they, they brought the belt afterwards. Okay. But, yeah. So when I was when I saw the people, okay, when I read it, it you know, I started weeping. They say <laughs> mixed feeling. Yeah, tears of joy. Tears of joy. So from the airport, you see the lineup. People were lined up from the street. Wow. From uh, airport through uh, Accra Gas, mm -hmm. then Kakudi down to uh, Nima mm -hmm. Police Station, mm -hmm. down to Tuase. I don't know how to, I don't know how to describe it. It was a big deal, man. Yeah. World champion. From that one mm -hmm. to that place, up to uh, Watu. Yes. Then down to Kase. Ooh, big deal. So, so I haven't seen that kind of thing before. And you went and met the head of state. Yes. General Champong. Yes. Can you remember what he said when he saw you? Oh, oh I, I can't remember exactly. So, you know, they, they were coming and they opened some you know, champagne. That was the first time I tasted good champagne. That was the first time I tasted champagne. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> it was nice. Okay. And so from that, you know, he gave me some this thing to be, to be read. Huh? Speech to be read. I read to what? Then after that, they said, okay, what, what else? That was how it ended. How did Ghana appreciate you? Did you feel, did you feel appreciated? Yes. They kept me in a state house. Mm -hmm. I think it was for a week or so, I think for a week, to be their guest. I see. Yes. It, Eat free, do it. Eat free, not not free. Eat free. I eat free. Any guest that comes to me, if I like, I will serve him food. You know, I was it week or one minute. I don't. I forgot that. You were chilling on the on the expense of the state. Yes. But what can I do? Well, they offer chilling on me because my my hard earned money. Who took it? Who took it? The man. The government took your money. No, no. But they, they pay me equivalent. Yes, they paid it back. They pay me. Uh, they mm. pay me. Mm -hmm. I could have, I could have lost it, uh, this thing because exactly. those days. I remember those days. Uh, uh, a sheep loaf of cocoa. Yes. Money from there. Yeah. From there, when they said this, they said that they put their money overseas. I know. And, and and for the young, I mean, for the young people, they, I don't think they can even understand how that happened. I mean, the government. You give the government a loan. It's not a loan. Oh, uh, different. It's not a loan. Mm -hmm. Like, I fought in foreign country. Mm -hmm. I will pay, I will pay dollars. Mm -hmm. I will choose to keep it, bank it there. Mm -hmm. But by that, by that time, the Ghana, Ghana says this for a badly. So I have yeah. to bring it down. Exactly. To give me civil equivalent. Indeed. That's what I'm saying. Indeed. Yeah. I didn't keep it there. Mm -hmm. I could have, you know, like, like how they are, they have been doing by that, by that time. They're so politicians you now. And the, they change the cities here, they get the money, they go and keep there. I know about all, I know about all these things. So, I mean, be, <laughs> but, but why was this? I'm trying to remember what, but what is the interview? What, what, what is this interview? What, what is this for? And this, this is, this is, I mean, we don't even want to talk about the, we, we are trying to celebrate the, uh, the, 40, the 48th anniversary, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll, we'll put the money things aside. Years. Yes, because 20 September, 40 20 September is 48 years that but you, you, then, you got the... I you, think some of you are not born. No, 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 because, because I was four years old. Look at that, four <laughs> years. <laughs> I was four years old when you so, became so, world champion, so, so none of my crew so, was so born. Some people, so people were only... They have, <laughs> no, no, no. They were not born. They were not born. I was only four years old. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And then, because if you hadn't won it, we will not be hearing of Azuma, we will not be hearing of... Oh, I'm happy of, for... Of uh, Aikwate, Nanaya Kunedu, that is, that is true. That is true. all those people. You opened the doors. I opened the floodgate. 
That's true. That's you open true. the doors. That's and the true. people you fought were serious. Because, I mean, we, I said it earlier, uh, Olivares was, what? was I, judged I'm, number one I'm, bantamweight I'm the glad, whole, in the glad, whole of 20th I'm glad, century. I'm glad you know about Olivares. Yes. You know. And Lopez and was all well, well, Hall of Famer. And you, be, you, you Lopez, fought these people. Lopez, what happened, Lopez, you mm -hmm. people don't know. I don't mm -hmm. want to say, you see, mm -hmm. here in Ghana, especially the guns, eh? okay, here in Ghana, if I said what happened before I lost the fight, mm -hmm. they said, oh, when they beat you, I'll give you an excuse. This is what the people will be saying. So I made, I made, no, I was quiet. I didn't want to mention this. What was the story? Lopez, man, before we came this here. This is 76. 76. Mm -hmm. We were told that this Lopez, man, and initially, when, uh, when they made me to fight, uh, they, uh, they said it was, they were scared. Uh, and especially they were scared of, Lopez said, uh, he won't go to Africa because they say Africa has the Africans that they have tails and tails and everything. So I said, look, are you stupid? Did I cut my did I cut did I cut my tail before I came? Come and fight your your countryman, yeah. <laughs> Especially their manager. The name was Howie. Something is Howie. So Howie didn't come to Ghana. He hired somebody. The man was Roman Fiamma. You know their duty. So he went to Mexico and bought the drug. Dope. So up now, you don't know what's happening. No, I don't. That's why I'm Jesus talking to you. Christ. I'm talking to you. You were there. But most people know. Most people, most Ghanaians know what's happening that day. Most Ghanaians know. So, I was too young. I was only five. Oh, uh, so, uh, sorry, sorry. Pardon me. Yes, sir. You were no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Right? Yeah, baby. Yeah. So after the fight, no, those who were at the ringside, especially some of mine, my dear's wife, they say, you know, if we go to, if we retire, if a bell ring, we come to the corner to be there. Some of us, when they give you the water, we wash our then throw it away, you know. But if you get repair water, they will ask something there to swallow the thing. Mm. Apart from that, there were brushes, 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 they were brushes after the fire, they were brushes, they rushed rush me to 37. But before we reached 37, Lopez was there. Lopez was there with his interred, with his trainers, and they were there. Doing what? Huh? What were they, why were they there? Seeking medical attention. Attention, okay. Because you, you really battered him. Yeah. But uh, interestingly, anyway, I learned, I learned a lesson from that, uh, from that uh, event, of that scene. We reached there now, I said, okay. I told by that time, Brigadier Kote, uh, who agreed? They are caught uh, some two others, just as well. So, so, so then I, I told them that we, we heard something already. So, I said to them, I test breaking urine, I test breaking urine. But instead of telling me to speak in our dialect, I said, I test, we, were, we were fond of that thing, we were fond, all Ghanaians were fond. We speak English, then we speak our dialect, then we, we switch to uh -huh. So I said, Yeah, our test are breaking urine. Uh, you should test the guy's urine. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Test, English mm -hmm. word, Yuri, mm -hmm. English word. Mm -hmm. Kind. They, they heard it. They, they heard it. They, they mm. took it from. Mm. Yes. But Monday, he came to the papers. Uh, my, my, my brother told me that it was published in the medical uh, Mexico and they described the type of dope they came and bought. See. I, I didn't want to make an excuse. Mm. But, uh, but that, that did that fight, that fight, that fight. Oh. And it was, uh, in, it was in Accra. Accra here. Mm -hmm. The punches that are true, I give, the punches that I give to that Lopez man, he, he was about to retire, I think, in the fifth round or so. But they push him, push him. They knew what they were doing. The, the punches that are true that night, he could have knocked in the, in the good, in the good or best weather weight in the world. No, I'm fighting weather weight. I do what but this Lopez man was. Some people just, <laughs> some people describe him as a Russia tanker. Yeah. What's your most memorable fight when you look back on your career? Say that again. Your most memorable fight for you? I would say almost, always, 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 always uh, Ivan Armstrong. Ivan. Always, always. Armstrong. Yeah. More memorable. I will never and, forget. And then you fought, um, I, I was just finding, you fought in so many places. You fought. In the Crasco Stadium, did you, so, fight, yeah. did you fight in Black Star Square as well? Yes, yes. That, I fought at Black Star Square. Yes, that was the day I fought for the national 
championship. Exactly. I thought was it for him Ted Walker. Right. I, I knocked him in was it Narrow Six or so? Orion. Yes, I you fought him. in Orion too. I fought in Orion. I, that was the place I lost I lost that, that fight. I, I lost that fight. Yeah. That you, was the first time I lost to a local boy. Yeah. You fought at El Wak as well? Yes, I fought well. I fought some uh, Ivorian Ewak. Yes. yes. You fought in Premier Assembly in Kumasi as yeah, well? Yeah, I fought the same. I fought uh, some Ivorian at Premier. And then you fought uh, in Togo? I didn't. Yeah, I fought in Togo. Yes. I fought. Is this. Is that, sometimes I forgot the name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I fought in Togo, Togo too. You fought in Nigeria? I fought in Nigeria too. Uh, you fought, in, of course, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, in Australia, in USA as well. Yes. Tunisia? I fought in Tunis. Yes. That was a determining fight. Whoever won that fight, that was a... You know, Talha that, Ben Hassan. Exactly. I knocked in the first round. Mm -hmm. That... Uh, uh, what happened was, I was preparing to fight for the... And after... I think I was a Commonwealth fan. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I was prepared to fight for... How do you call it? The World Title. Mm -hmm. And this... Um, this guy... He's the author of uh, African Sports. Kobna? Mm -hmm. um, no, 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 no. He no. okay. stays in uh, with this, uh, this South Africa. So. Mm. Oh, for, I forgot okay. the name. With the big ballet. <laughs> then he said, the reason why we Africans have been, you know, we haven't got, bo we haven't got body. Mm -hmm. Like a, you know, like a body. So he established African Boxing Union. Okay. So he said, I should go and fight. We are the f we, I and uh, uh, this thing, Hassan. Yes. Tony Hassan, we are the first who fought for, who fought for that. that uh, okay. So he said, whoever win that fight, we go, we go and fight for. Mm -hmm. But that, uh, seven, Hassan, Hassan was, the has been Hassan was number six. Okay. They were riches. Uh, so whoever won that. Uh, you, still, you still beat him? Uh, uh? You beat him? I beat him in the first round. <laughs> what happened was <coughs> interesting. When we went, when we, when we arrived in Tunis, Mm -hmm. Oh, no, they were nice with us. Oh, they, oh, not everything. When the fight, they came. We went to the stadium. No, they have to fight for uh, the, the uh, undercard. That they don't, they don't. So, when we reached our team, no, we entered the ring. So, we were still traveling. So, it threw a punch and I parried and I gave, and then it went down. That's it. Under under one minute. And you done. After the fight, they were they refused to no. I called us. Refused to take care of us. We were the the hotel room. Nobody came in. Give us something. So we have to leave the country. They said we should lose. Oh, you knocked the guy out too early. You disappointed. <laughs> Did you ever feel as an African boxer that you were discriminated against, and so you had to really do the business and? Knock them out decisively. And for that, I do, I do, I do, because mm. you know, I do every country mm. you know, to discriminate like them. Mm -hmm. That's why they, they say, <coughs> especially when something important fight is important fight like this nature. You know, if you get a chance, you don't have to play. So um, as we wrap this up, I mean. Congratulations once again. I mean, 48 years mm. is not a joke. It's almost yes. half a century. Yeah, but then, the, like I said, so that, so we were, were small so boys. We were not, born. Uh, <laughs> we're not even in primary school. Um, I'm sure it's, it was a proud moment for you. How would you um, want Ghanaians to remember you? I don't understand. I don't understand. But a lot of the young boxers don't even know the history. So I'm sure when they see this interview, they say, oh, oh wow, he's still alive? He's here? What? Um, you get that feeling that people are forgetting the history and not remembering. I'm not, I'm not worried. Things. I'm not worried about the mm history. -hmm. I'm not worried mm -hmm. because if you don't read history and you go to exam and they ask that question, you, if you don't answer it, they will fail you. <laughs> it's, your up to, it's, your, it's up to you to learn it. If you don't let that, okay. I don't care. I made my history already. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember during um, during uh, how do you call it? Okante, you know, Okante. You know, Okante. He went with the is it 
Ghana Times or so. Mm -hmm. Samuel Kanti. Yes, yes, yes. Journalist. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I told him, look, I appreciate, uh, how do you call it, uh, Azuma Nelson. Mm -hmm. you, know, you heard the title, different words from time. I appreciate it. But I have made a history. Yes. No, he make a record. Mm -hmm. You made a history. Yeah, I make a history. So there's a difference between records. Oh and well, history. I don't. I don't I'm, to, I'm not telling you. I'm, I'm telling you what I did. Yeah, but it's, it's there. To, we know. It's up to you to choose yeah. which. 20th September, 1975. No sporting person will ever forget. So uh, see, mm. I'm, I'm very. You are genius. You are genius. I don't know what came to your mind before you came, you, you called me. What? How, how do you? How, how do you remember the year? I love history. Did you? Did you? Recording the diary. Well, I look, I look for that. I want to know what happened on 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 in, in history. So I, for me, it's it's, a, it's an interest. Something, for me. Yeah, some, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. sometimes. How would you? The particular day, the whole yeah. January February day. Yeah. Suddenly you say, oh, you remember? Twenty September. Twenty September. Something happened. Yeah. Then you remember something September. When you are interested in something, you look for it. So okay. I, that's what I'm interested in. Okay. How will you be celebrating twentieth September this oh. this this year? Oh, you see. Hmm. I, I, I haven't planned about it. I've not mm -hmm. planned about it. But mm -hmm. like, I just, like I told you, I'm just a simple man. But sometimes... With your permission, I want to bring down the belt. Oh, no, with all pressure. All right. This, is, pressure. this is what we're talking about. <laughs> with all pressure. So this, and I'm going to describe it. You see how you see how ugly it is. It's still Com it's, compared to it's, present no, day of the it's, it's precious because this is history. So this is world champion. World boxing council. WBC World uh -huh. Boxing Council. There's an Adidas logo there. Adidas here. Adidas over here. Adidas over here. And there's a uh, like an. And I remember the name Bob Nedu. Bob Nedu. Okay. He was the author of African Sports. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. He, uh, yes. he established uh, the African boxing. Uh, boxing uh, yeah. He said, because we haven't got the body to know. Then he established so, it. Uh, mm. So this is this is your belt. Yes. Congratulations. Forty-eight years. Yes. <laughs> it's it's real history. <laughs> Interestingly, is... you know, mm -hmm. if you watch here, this is a Ghana flag. Before and this is Ghana flag. Okay. Before I won the title, there was no Ghana flag. Ah. So yeah, so that's a, nobody yeah, Ghana has no. And so, so you won it, and then the plaque had to come. Exactly. In the field of sporting. Discipline. This is it. Yes. We're proud by, of you. By God grace, eh? We're proud of you, sir. Thank you, sir. By God grace. And I'm happy some of you know what I've done, you know, traditionally. I've done. So I'm happy, you know. If nobody at all says something about you are here to say it. I thank you. Welcome. Thank you so much. They don't. <laughs> I can't squeeze you know, the boxer. I can't squeeze the boxer's hand too, too oh, tight. You, if you squeeze boxer's hand, you, you hurt him. Ah. You no, know, because always you, you treat him like this. So maybe I should have greeted you like no, this. No, no, no. If you that just okay so, without squeezing. Like that, yeah. If you squeeze you, you know, because you know. once a boxer, always a boxer. Oh. So the say. great DK Poison, Mr. David Kote, Ghana's first world champion. Yeah. I'm happy about that. On 20th of September, seventy-five. And, and, I, and I thank God for making me. What I am today. Amen. Because if I look back, and I say, okay, since God created heaven and earth, we don't know the year. And we had a country called Gokos change to Ghana, the first ever. One time. I thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. God. Amen. You are great. Forever. Forever. And that's a coffee day show. Um, if you and, haven't. And I thank Kaffee also for, you no. Know, he is not, he also remembers, you know, this kind of, this uh, history day. Yes, indeed. God bless you. God bless you too, sir. Mm. Thank you so much. Welcome. And that's the Cafe Day Show. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now, hit the notification bell. So when more content comes up, you will be the first to know. Take care. God bless. And from the champ, hey, keep Amen. fighting. Keep fighting.